Today, I'm going to share with you one of my very favorite hacks, how to transplant lettuce seedlings for an endless supply of greens in your continual harvest garden. I'm Nadia. And I'm Ola. Welcome, Welcome to, to pearlsandshoots.com. Living in different time zones, we are two unique flowers from the same garden. Together, we share our pearls of wisdom, love for gardening, homegrown food, healthy living, and beauty. We, we are Sisters in Bloom. I wanted to uh, take a moment and show you how I make a bunch of lettuce starts. Um, and this is something I learned on another hi, Hacienda, another um, uh, YouTube uh, channel guy, and he has a blog, but he he's from England, and he refers to it as perking the plants out. But I use uh, like a baby fork, a popsicle stick, something that has a, a smaller end, and I basically plant a bunch of baby lettuce seeds into any container and when they get you know their first true leaves I can kind of dig them out and replant them where I want them granted the ones I'm about to show you I'm gonna do this with are a lot bigger than I'd like them to be I was gone for several days and they just exploded in growth so um, but you could still I could still replant them and I'm going to try to, to do as many as I can in my little garden here in town and my other garden over at the farmhouse so let's uh, take a look what we have so as you can see I have a bunch of lettuce starts in a uh, container and I just dumped a bunch of seeds in because they had all fell out and I didn't know what they were well they turned out to be lettuce which is perfect which I do this with this anyway and I already gave a bunch to my neighbor and so what I do I like to use a little fork because I can get in there and dig them out and because I have so many if I accidentally damage one it's okay I can use the undamaged one and when the and when the lettuces are so small the root systems are not very big and it makes it really easy to gently separate the starts so I just find ones that look strong that I don't have to pull apart too much. So those ones are too connected. This one, however, is absolutely perfect. And I can take this little guy and plant him now. And I can do this with technically all of these. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I'll probably end up harvesting <laughs> these for baby greens. Um, but whatever I can replant, I'll replant. Um, also, I do this every, I'd say about two weeks, I start a new batch. That way I have a continual harvest and I can harvest lettuce and greens from April through almost the beginning of winter. Um, hi, Asiendo, what are you smelling? You want some lettuce? Is it good? You want some salad? So let me show you how I plant them. So I go over to my desired bed with my fork and my lettuce and I find some space that I want to stick them into so here's a nice little spot that I can make a little hole in when I say little hole just enough so I'm not damaging the other plants roots too much lettuce likes shade so I'm planting this little romaine underneath the kale and I'm gonna make sure it's deep enough. That way the longer root system can reach water. I'll make sure I get all the roots in. And that's what the pricking is, is you have your little stick to prick it with and plant it. And so typically, I wouldn't wait this long. I probably will have done this before just when the first true leaf so this is a true leaf that right there the itty bitty guy those are the first baby leaves so I would have done this a little sooner if I wasn't so busy but it just shows you how easy it is to transfer 
transplant them. I'm gonna give it a little bit of water. Get rid of this dead leaf. I'll give him a little bit of water and uh, he'll be one happy little romaine. And I can plant a couple more in here. I don't follow the spacing rules um, because I like to harvest them as they grow. So here's a little one, here's a little one. They're probably about two inches apart. Some of my kale got a little dry while I was gone. This is a perfect example. I have one, one, two, three. I mean, they're really tight. And because I'm continually harvesting, I'm not gonna let them get to a large head. I'll be cutting off one leaf off of each plant today to make a salad. Um, so this one could use a little bit more lettuce. And I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna get rid of any dead leaves, which there's some that are got a little too hot. I'll get rid of these little dead leaves and then I'm gonna make some room in between and I can plant a ton of those little lettuces in here. Same thing in here. This is romaine that's almost done. This is romaine that's almost done. You can see all these little cliff marks. I mean, I pick off of these plants every single day. And so we've been eating, 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 and I've never let it get to a full head. Um, and this has been like two months or a month and a half of eating. So yes, you do want to continually start lettuce. I have some more that um, I knew what they were and I wanted to start them separately. And these are like a red uh, musculine, I can't even say it, lettuce. And there's another little um, leafy green. This is some cilantro. Stuck some seeds in as well because I had spinach and other greens here. I ate them all. Those ones are the first ones I put in, and then I did these. So, yeah, every two weeks is kind of my mark. Here's some more, and uh, you'll have an endless supply of salad. And that's how you continually plant lettuce.